Hello there, I'm Marcus Pullen and I'm the Managing Director of Blue Donut Games. I'm also the creator of Horror in the Library and today what I wanted to do was just to take you through what I've been working on in Horror in the Library because the game's just about ready for the UK Games Expo 2021. So I've got a copy of the game with me here Ta -da! and you can see we've created a, a, a very uh, fancy edition here. So this is the pre-launch um, edition of Horror in the Library. So this is a short run of the game before we launch our Kickstarter campaign, which we're hoping to do later in the autumn, uh, as long as everything goes according to plan. Um, so what's inside the box? Okay, so if I get this out, um, the first thing I should probably talk about um, is the lid. And if you don't know what horror in the library is about it's a victorian horror game which is a tile based card collecting game and i'll talk about how the game works and there will be other people telling about um, the game as well hopefully in in the near future um, so this video is really just to explain what's in the box today okay so the first thing as i said inside the lid we can see there is a certificate of issue. So I've numbered um, the uh, games and we did 30 units of these. So this is unit number one and I've, I've signed that and that certificate is stuck inside the little box. Now, the other thing I've done is I've done a little sketch. Here's one of the sketches uh, drawn uh, by my, my fairish hand <laughs> um, with, with this pen. Uh, and that's going in the box and there's a whole load of them that are just behind me which I've actually literally just finished so there's a whole load of sketches that are going in the box and then here are the certificates that somebody's going to glue in the lid I hope it's not me because I've really <laughs> done quite a lot <laughs> um, so uh, that aside what about the game components so here's a quick shot there we go look inside there Nigel inside the box and let's talk about what we've got. So, first thing, these are the room tiles. Now, these tiles, you'll see, have got these very natty little handles on them. And that's because one of the core game mechanics is that you can turn the rooms around. So, a door, you can see some of the doors are open, some of the doors are uh, closed. So, um, that enables you to turn them around and slow your opponents down and give you access to be able to get out to the... Uh, the study and, and win the game so um, there's a whole bunch of those how many you say well there are 16 tiles 15 of them have handles and that's because the mad professor's study here glowing green uh, doesn't doesn't turn that's in the center of the in the game okay so I'm going to put those to one side like that then uh, we have the uh, page cards, now they're little patient size cards, okay, they're all nicely wrapped up, and they are the different uh, pages that you will have to get to be able to get out of the library and win the game. Um, now, there is a bigger set, so these are poker size cards. These are the blessings and the curses cards, okay? So different bonuses and effects on, on players that you can use on yourself and use on each other. Uh, then, of course, uh, we've got uh, a rule book, um, which I'm sure we'll be updating when we get feedback, um, although we've playtested this. And a big thank, out, thank you to everybody who's playtested this not just friends and families, but amazing people at various board game cafes in the UK and uh, people that played it at UK Games Expo 2019 and Spiel 2019. We really appreciate the fact that you've kept with us all the way through the pandemic and we're really looking forward to starting to see everybody uh, at the UK Games Expo um, later um, at the end of the month in July. This has been recorded in July. Um, okay, so back to what's in the box. Uh, we have here a lovely velvet bag, and who doesn't like to rummage in the velvet bag? Now, what's inside it first is, um, I've got to say, we've got uh, a nice little bag here with um, the dice, uh, some cubes, red cubes, and some gold tokens there. And they're used um, on uh, these things here. 
which are the um, players kind of board here, which tells you what items you need to collect and the pages that have got those items that you've you've got. This thing here, this device here, is your fortitude meter, which tells you um, if it's positive or negative, and you need to, to, to keep it in positive as much as you can do, but I'm not going to go into the details of the game at the moment, um, he says. Um, and here are um, the places where you put your search items, uh, sorry, your, your search numbers, um, and um, your red cubes are used here to count track the number of searches and, and that's about it now in this pack as well are all the monsters that can um, be unleashed and attack you or you can control and attack other players and you can see there's a there's one of the characters uh, there and then there's um, I don't, you probably can't really see under here but there's 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 all the items and the blessings and curses coins that go in the bag as well and somebody's coming oh look there's my lovely wife who also helped me on the game and um, she bought me a cup of coffee so thank you very much for that and i will <laughs> i will have that after i finish this uh, <laughs> i love i love doing live recordings um right okay so that's what's in there um the red bag also you'll find um has these little stands here um they are that there, there are Two slightly different types, it was depending on what we could get hold of at the time, and it's been quite tricky in the pandemic to get all the bits that we need. So they're slightly different. Um, uh, some are absolutely crystal clear, and others are just a little bit milky, but they, they again, work very, very nicely. I actually prefer these these slightly milky ones. I think they're, they're, um, they're really nice, those. Um, so that's what's in the bag there and the the last thing i should point out um is as well that you get one of these and this is really important because this is your library that stands um at the uh, so that everybody can see it and this you use in the game to work out what um uh color uh, pages you find when you search the library and on the back of it is a rather nutty logo of the game as well so that's quite fun so that is what's in the game uh we're selling these for 60 pounds um you can pick yours up um at the show or you can buy online and we've got uh low cost shipping for uk and europe um um, unfortunately shipping to australia and the united states and the rest of the world is a little bit expensive we've 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 done it we've set it up but unfortunately shipping for everybody at the moment and, and i'm sure everybody understands is quite expensive um and times can be a little bit di difficult i have to say i have chewed my nails a bit um waiting for our friends in italy so where this game is actually printed is in Italy um, and um, these units were held up um, funny enough um, in, in in Dover um, so um, um, that took a while and we had to work out where they were which was a little uh, nerve-wracking but in any case they came here and then we finished them off and I've been working on putting bags and bits and pieces in the boxes um, myself as well so um finishing touch will be the shrink map that goes on and then they'll all be ready so i hope oh yes i should talk about the the, the, the bottom of the game and i will make sure the lids put on the right way there's nothing worse than looking at a, a box and then seeing that the back is the wrong way around it really annoys me and i'm sure it annoys all of you guys um so i'll make sure this is right um so uh, on the back lots of fun it, it explains um, a little uh, bit about the game and what's inside uh, the game as well. Now, some of you may note um, that um, we've got a slightly different logo, and that's because um, we have created Blue Donut Games um, from Blue Donut Studio. So it's our own uh, dedicated brand um, with a nice, fresh, fun uh, Mr. Donut there, happy face there, if you can see see him there. Um, so that's what you need to look out for um, if you want to have a go at the game. So we'll be playing this along with our other games, Line, Immortal Paths and Devices. Uh, we've got Squares. Sadly, that won't be at the show because there's been a delay in manufacturing, but you will be again able to order all of these games online at bdgame.uk. 
Um, right, I think that's enough for me uh, for today. Um, thank you for uh, putting up with, with me, rabbiting on about the game, but I really wanted to show you what's inside and uh, look forward to seeing um, you, you play and hear from you as well. Take care. Bye.